it was an opportunity to develop a world-class model of urban agriculture here in Vancouver on a scale and a level that really I don't think has been done anywhere in North America. Not everyone's suited to working in skyscrapers or in front of a computer screen. Our ancestry is all about farming and working with our hands, so there's many people who still want to do that and this gives them an option to do that in the city. Because it's in your city and because you can see it and because it's public, it personalizes where your food comes from. It's ingenious use of uh, space that otherwise has been vacant or discarded. A big part of us getting this going was spending a lot of time really coming to terms of what was really important. Why are we doing this? Okay. Who are we doing it for? There was a group of us in the downtown east side that were kind of meeting, trying to figure out some enterprises that would work around the green economy, that would work for people of uh, limited resource and uh, uh, barriers to employment. It was clear that the primary goal was to provide meaningful employment to people from the downtown east side. I've always had an interest in like learning how to grow food, but I never really had the opportunity. The first year of my recovery, after I got about a year clean, I just decided that I had to do something, you know, it's like, what's the point of getting sober if you're not going to do anything with your sobriety? Just trying to give them a space where they're needed, and by doing that, maybe, you know, maybe they make some changes in their life. It was also incredibly important that we a breakthrough and provide a really credible model of urban agriculture. How many people is it possible to feed on a very small piece of land? How do you sustain the soils that you're working with? How do you work within an environment where you may have to move after uh, a year or two? I love the innovation of their pallet uh, boxes, which you know enable a whole modular approach to, to growing vegetables, being able to use uh, season extension. Technically speaking, it's brilliant what's happening in Vancouver. Each location informs what we grow and how we grow it. We're producing food on an artisan level that any chef, the top chefs in Vancouver, would be proud to serve on their menu. Our goal in Vancouver is to be the world's greenest city by 2020, and that's also an economic goal. It gives us a huge competitive advantage as a, a city economy. Urban food and soul food in particular are bringing a number of those pieces together, creating jobs in the city, creating local healthy food, and doing it in an innovative way. I don't know anywhere in North America where we would have a more sympathetic and supportive environment. By nature of allowing people the experience of sticking their hands in the soil, planting seeds, harvesting, growing the very nourishment that this community is eating right down the block in restaurants at farmers markets. Uh, that process alone is incredibly healing. I can't say how much it's done for me like this job. It's just, it's amazing. I love it here.